In this lesson, we're going to be discussing what a local host is and how it's going to benefit you. Because this course is all about setting up a local host and how to create your web development environment easily on your own computer. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. What exactly is a local host? It's a local server environment that can be used to test and run server-side scripts on your computer. It lets you run an Apache server application, including features such as a database, like a MySQL database, as well as PHP scripting language. It also lets you see what your web page is going to look like before you share it to the world by FTPing it to your web server. It's quick and easy to see your web code before it's sending it over to the server and make those adjustments, troubleshoot, and check for errors. So I do have a local host currently running on my machine. And basically what this means is that once I have it up and running, I can go bring my browser to the web address localhost and it actually loads the page that's sitting at the root of my localhost. So this is all set up and the one that I'm using right now is XAMPP. And in upcoming lessons, I will show you how to set this up for yourself as well. But for now, it's important to understand that localhost really is the way to go when you're setting up your web development environment. So I can run and create web pages such as this one, including PHP pages, and I can make updates to it and a whole lot more and simply go into my own computer. So notice that I don't have to FTP it. I don't have to send it up to a server and I can see it up and running. And this is really useful and important whenever I do something where maybe I have a variable or something like that or something that just doesn't make sense in the PHP code, I can easily troubleshoot, find my local file where it's located, uh, what line of code it is, and I can easily go in here and see what's going on and even fix any issues or problems that I might be having. So it really does save you a lot of time and you get a first look at the way that your web code is going to render out within your web host just by lo loading it on your own machine. So once you've got it up and running on your own machine, then you're ready to FTP it to your web server and launch it live. So essentially it's a second way to create a local sandbox and a local staging area where you can run your code on your computer without having the hassle of FTPing the files all the time over to a server. So in the next lesson, I'm going to walk you through how to set one of these up for yourself. And you're going to be amazed at how quick and easy the process is.